So I'm heading to Dallas this morning to grab me some money from my government. That's right, the IRS. So I think we all know pretty well that if you owe the government money because you owe taxes, they don't mess around. They come at you pretty hard, right? So right now, I'm experiencing something completely opposite of that. What exactly happens if the IRS owes you a sizable tax refund because you overpaid in your quarterly tax taxes and your CPA has been vigilant about dealing with the IRS, but to still no avail, there's been no check cut. So Teresa experienced a little identity theft on her taxes in 2014, which is definitely a cause for the delay, but five months is definitely excessive. So we'll see what they have to say. I just waited five minutes in the wrong line. Fortunately, it was only five minutes. That's good. This is where I need to be. And the floor, there we go. Oh. oh my goodness. Sorry folks, the park's closed. The moose out front should have told you. Good night. Seriously. Maybe they're training right now on how they can get their refund to me. Ah! What a waste of time. So I'm waiting in line here at the parking lot to get out of here. And you might be wondering, well, Tim, did you call ahead and make sure that they were open today? And the answer is absolutely yes. You have reached the Taxpayer Advocate Office of the IRS in Dallas, Texas. We offer free, independent, and confidential tax assistance to taxpayers unable to resolve their tax problems with the IRS. Let me just save you some time. Nowhere in that recording did they say they were closed today. Thanks, IRS. Folks, this is a big day in South Lake. I gotta tell you, the fountains are working after nine months, maybe a year. They're finally on. Look at that. Was it worth it? We heard when they first put these in, these were going to be like the Bellagio fountains, just a lot smaller, obviously, with a lot of fancy stuff going on. So I'm hoping they do more than just that right there. A lot of anticipation over these fountains. You know, let me show you this aerial shot that I took of the fountain before it was turned on the other day. Guess what tonight is? Baseball meeting! Players meeting tonight, January 27th, 2016. Dragons, here we come. We have 11 11-year-olds. 11 11. 11 11. 11, 11. 11, 11. The sun is bright. Bright, I said. Picking up Gavin. Big G. Hey, big G. Big G. Big. news out of Nick this week. Two things actually. One, made the A team for lacrosse as a goalie. Uh -huh. That's awesome. And then two, share with us what you got in your mouth there, buddy. I got some Reese's 
Braces! <laughs> I've got a little 911 situational here, and uh, Katie barrel races. She's got a couple horses, got a nice trailer, but on the way home from her competition tonight, she had a blowout. So I'm going to go help fix the tire. And I learned tonight that my AAA covers doesn't cover trailer tires. It will tomorrow, but it doesn't today. So that's what's doing right now. There she is. Okay, here we are. Say hi, everybody. Hi. Katie had a little problem with the trailer, as you can see. Everything okay? Hi, folks. Yeah, there we go. it's all good. You good? Everybody's good? We're good. Right, good. <laughs> Everybody's safe and sound. That's the most Everybody's important safe thing. safe and sound. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Bad tire off, and then we got the new one on. We're doing good there? All good? Yep. And if you have a trailer, you need one of these things right here. The easy jack. It wasn't so easy, actually, but <laughs> it ended up being okay. Did you guys go eat at McDonald's while you were waiting? Probably not. It wouldn't have been a bad idea. <laughs> I'd be scared to change my entire fence. What if I don't get it tied up and it pops off? That's no problem. On the road again. Okay, so it's 7.35 and the parentals just left the building. So we're about to party. So here's Morgan. There's Morgania. Then let's see the rest of the household tonight. So that's Dylan. Say hello to the world. Howdy, I'm a cowboy. There's Grant. He's not staying here tonight. Grant's not staying the night with us, so he's not gonna get to party, but uh, that's okay. Andy, Andy, where are you? Come here. Come here. Come here. That's Andy. He's not gonna be with us tonight either, so he's missing out on the party, but uh, that's okay. So we're gonna have some fun tonight. Yeah. This is Dylan, since he wants to redo his Don't introduction. Say he wants to redo it. That's terrible. But you do. This is a truthful vlog. Oh, wow. So here at the Wright household, the party's just getting started. Dylan's. We are on our way to pick up Nicholas. It is Katie as the driver. Keep your eyes on the road, please. Okay, sorry. Uh, <laughs> Morgan is in the back seat. So hello to the fans, Morgan. We are on our way to pick up Nicholas from a little lax practice. We're gonna get old California bar and uh, in and out burger, and we'll, we'll check back in when we get to the store. Once again, win the award for last man off the field. Congratulations, round of applause for Nicholas. After a little bit of a turnaround, we finally made it. Nick, thoughts? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm not part of the staff. Good. good? I don't like the cameras in my face. It's just such annoying. Did you just call me tasty? No, don't be weird. Here. They're just fun little things to eat out of. <laughs> That's fun. Is that cute? That's kind of cute. Mm. Oh. 